Welcome you all to our online global self-awakening retreat. This is our day four. I hope wherever you are, you're well and your family's well. It's very nice to be together here again. I'm excited again for another um, beautiful coming event. We'll see what transpires out of today and where the Grand Spirit, Her Majesty, is going to take us. What is it going to be revealed today? What kind of realization is going to take place? What do we get out of this? What's in the store for us? So that part is exciting. And nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going to happen. And that's the mystery of life. The unknown reveals itself. So all we can do is to be available and to be here. That's very exciting to be available, to be here, and to see what's going to come, what's going to happen. But most importantly, besides what is going to happen, is what is happening right now. What is happening in this moment? What does this moment have? And to really be present with it, to dive in it, be here now, and here and now may not be pleasant. It may be boring, it may be painful, it may be uncomfortable. That too is included in being here. But none of it is going to last it's always changing from one thing to another, constantly changing. So no matter how uncomfortable it may be in, in a given moment, that can always change and it will change to something else. Because it's always fresh, it's always new. So we're going to talk about self-acceptance, accepting self-love. And we talked about yesterday about love and how throughout this process that as we're growing up, the conditioning and the brainwash by the system, by the society, by life, how it happens. And I'm not here to blame anybody for what is going on because it's not one person or one culture. It's a universal. The goal of what we're doing is to discover the truth of who we are. And sometimes in order to find out who we are, maybe we can't go directly to that. Maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too complicated. Maybe it's difficult to comprehend the truth of who I am. But sometimes maybe it's easier to discover who I am not. So what we're doing here is systematically separating ourselves 
from what is the truth and what is illusion, what is real and what is not. And this journey that we're going through it, the truth is not necessarily pretty and it could be painful, but it is the truth. And it's only the truth that can liberate you. That's the only thing that leads you to liberation. And the spiritual warrior must buckle up his, her belt and just be like a Zen master, like a ninja Jedi and really like focus on one point and that's it nothing else being focused on one point it's like a laser vision that I want freedom I only want freedom and nothing else and it is a commitment to freedom because freedom it has a price. It just doesn't come easily like that. You must remember you've been in bondage for thousands of years, generation after generation. This is an old, old conditioning. It's an old way of belief. Very few people freed themselves through their commitment to freedom and love and found their way home. The rest, they are in this cycle. They just keep coming and going. So a part of this commitment to freedom is your willingness to let go of your story you got to let go of your story. You have to become storyless. It doesn't matter whatever has happened in your past. You want to use the trauma, the betrayal, the abandonment, the pain, all of it as a fuel to your fire for awakening. Because you paid the price by being traumatized, abandoned, beaten up, raped, shipped from one home to another home, losing your closest friend, losing your child, losing your family, losing your lover. All these things have happened to you is to wake you up. And now we're here. It's a pity to pay such a price for so many years and maybe lifetimes and not to be here and in the last minute on the last run we drop the ball and we lose our courage and dedication and concentration on not completing the task. Coming all the way here and giving into some comfort or some fear or some other ideas. This path, you have to become idealess. You have to become empty. You can't know anything. You have to come to this place that you don't know anything. You got to get empty. Excuse me. <coughs> You have to get empty. You can't know. You have to just come to this place that I don't know anything. And a part of that process is your past. That has to go.